All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're ready. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2024 independent low-budget horror film called Die Alone. Now here's the plot. Lost in a world reclaimed by nature and overrun by mysterious creatures, a young man with amnesia teams up with an eccentric eccentric survivalist to find his missing girlfriend. Now here's some of the casts. A very enjoyable film. It kind of felt like a slight cheap inspired version of The Walking Dead. Granted, I only seen the two first two seasons and then I was done. But uh, it has the the zombies that with plants growing out. And there was even a zombie that had a uh, that was covered in um, in webbing too. Uh, but it had and all all of them had a moss on them. Uh, but it just kind of remind me of, of the zombies in that. Um, I like the main character, but he makes some questionable choices. Not a whole lot of problems with that throughout, but there definitely in the beginning there are some questionable decisions um, of going about stuff. Even more so for a guy that is somewhat under, doesn't understand what's going on technically. Um, but I also point I want to point out his acting was a, just a tiny bit bland emotional wise but that might have been on purpose but it felt like he was starting out and young so i can actually see him progressing his craft either way now i'll check uh, in editing if he's been anything that uh, uh big or anything i've seen but i don't necessarily recognize him and he's definitely young and it's just kind of like these are the type of films that the the usually stars start try to get out and uh start out in in the hollywood to get noticed these days earlier on it was more of the uh chicka chicka bow wow type of x rated films via drift uh, i will say the older actress did great but she also looks very very familiar i don't know her name i have to look in editing i'll put her up who it is um and if she's been anything but uh yeah, I mean, she was really, really good. Honestly, the film's theme was way more drama around him trying to remember what he was going on. But I actually was really, really impressed with the writing, especially towards the end. Uh, here's my rating, and I'll come back with what I have to say. Look, if you like small budget films, or project films or independent films and don't have really that big of an issue with the um, kind of small budget look. I mean, you could tell the rain was, was CGI, but other than that, it everything else was just kind of in the mid, so it wasn't really necessarily that bad compared to stuff I've seen. And it was mostly, mostly like 99% um, practical uh, anything from makeup to to you know uh, real good prosthetics of uh, of the, uh, the, the the zombies and the wounds and stuff. Um, the camera work it it can be a hit or miss with that one. Uh, in, in, I mean, in this film, uh, it did kind of get a little jarring. Um, but I think the transitions can also be a hit and miss between him and going back his 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 flashbacks that we get kind of a back and forth of 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 what happened what lead up throughout the film um but there were some cool ones uh like I, like two or three or one uh i'll give them that but i think it's just kind of they were going for something um uh and i don't really want to say because it, it might actually spoil the film um but it it Overall, the film was really, really good for the writing-wise for a, uh, a film of this degree. And I highly recommend it either way. Um, but yeah, leave your thoughts down below. It definitely doesn't come off like anything zombie-wise that I've seen. 
again, it's more drama with zombies kind of in the background for most of the film. Um, but, uh, yeah, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love. Skull.